hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new yet please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so this is 4 by 4 inches and my resolution is 300 so now go to your a text document and I'm going to make a copy of this color code here then select your gradient then this is the gradient color I'm going to use then and also take note of this location which is number nine then i'll click ok then this is the gradient color code over there all right so the next thing to do now then i'm going to make a copy of the church name go to your recess file import the church logo then take it over here then select your test tool using letter t on your keyboard reduce the font size then also change the font i'm going to use the font poppins in this area Then make it medium then ctrl plus v to paste and change your font color to white then reduce it more okay then I'm going to group it together, then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then make a copy of this, then duplicate this one, drag it over here, then to duplicate. Then now bring it down. Select your test tool, remember letter T. To select test two. Now open the character spacing. Then apply a drop shadow. Make use of this setting. The blend mode is multiply. Opacity is eighty. The distance is 5, the spread is 2, and the size is 9. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then go to your test document and make a copy of this test here. Then select your test tool again. Now close the character spacing by 0%. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then over here, this is the font I'm going to use, so I'll make a copy of it. Then select your font, Ctrl plus V to paste it. Now apply the font. Increase the size of the font. Then go back to your test and make a copy of this code here. 
so this is the font i'm going to use here then i'm going to adjust the color then this is okay now make a duplicate of this one but before then i noticed that there is a character space there so i have to close it that is and also minus 60. then copy this one Ctrl plus V to paste. Now make a duplicate again. Then you drag this one down. Change the color to white. And I'm going to make use of Poppins font on this one. Then make the font semi bold. Now highlight it and paste the test. Then I will reduce it a little. Now select it all and group it together. All right. Now I will shift it to this area and increase it a little more then i'm going to import this image here then flip it horizontal and reduce the size now increase it increase it more okay then rasterize it Go to image and apply adjustments, bright the image. Then apply this vibrance. So you can see the effect of it now. Now I'm going to apply this image nomic. Then adjust this setting here. So you can see that there is a changes applied. So what I also apply now is Skin Finder. So this is before and here is after. So you can see before and after. So now I'm going to adjust the setting here to smoothen the image. So as you can see before and after. Now click OK. So you can see the image now more smooth like th than before. So apply your blending mode, then change it to black and white and blend it. Make sure that that place is black. Now convert it to smart object. Then I'm going to import this image. Then take this one behind and reduce the size. Increase it. Then position it. It will be okay like this. Now rasterize it, go back to your image and apply brightness.
then go back and apply vibrant then adjust the setting of the vibrance just like this is okay then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend it over here all right then make a copy of the name now select your test tool remember t letter t on your keyboard then and change this color so sorry if i'm fast here you know this is to edit the name so i don't want to take much time on that Alright, so I'm going to select all the name then and duplicate it. You can use Ctrl plus J to duplicate. If you don't want to drag it down to duplicate it, then you use Ctrl plus J. That is the shortcut. Then edit the name with this one. Then draw a rectangle over here. Then change the color to red. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste and apply white font color. Then change the boldness to semi bold and reduce the font size. Then position it inside here. Then Change the character spacing to 0%. Then select it and apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Okay. Now copy the team. Select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to Tuesday night. Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then copy this one. Draw a rectangle. So over here we are going to apply a corner shape. So 35% by 35%. Then go to your blending option and select gradient overlay. So go to your test and we are going to make a copy of this color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy this one. Go to the other color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So you will have something like this, then you click OK. So this is the outcome. 
Now select your test tool. Then come down over here and type this crossover. Then reduce the font size. Duplicate it or you press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. Select your test tool using the letter T. Then you type this one. Then change the font to Poppins. Then you leave it bold. Then you can change the font, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to apply an image background to it. Then you duplicate this one. Then go to your test and make a copy of this test here. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. So to group it, you press Ctrl plus G after you selected it. Then you place this image on top, right click and create a clipping mask. So you can see the letter there, it's no longer more white. Now apply a drop shadow. So you see what happened here, the drop shadow I apply in this test did not appear. So what happened is that I apply it on the image and not on the test. So what I did is to drag it down on top of the test. So now I'm going back to adjust it, then reduce the numbers of the settings. So you can see the effect of it now. So make use of the setting, then you click OK. So okay like this. Then let's go back to our test document and make a copy of the location. Then import the icon. Reduce the size. Then you position it over here. Then select your test tool. Then change the font to Poppins. Then select Medium. Then you paste it. The size number is okay. Then paste it now.
select your test tool then use left alignment then remove and uh, reduce the font size then change the font color to black because I'm going to apply brush under it or at the back of so I think the space is okay by 6% Now select a rectangle, draw a line over here, then change the color to black. So what I did is to duplicate it and move it over there. So you make a copy of the date, Ctrl plus V to paste, then you select this one, come over here and apply superscript, make it bold, alright. Now increase the size, then make a copy of this one, Place it under here. Okay. Then, and the last one, make a copy of the time. Then, select the dates, duplicate it. Then, you drag this one up. Then you bring it over here, select your test tool, Ctrl plus A to alight, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now hold your shift key while you select it. Hold your Ctrl key while you select order. Now you group it, Ctrl plus G to group. You can increase the size. So now we are going to group all this one now so that we can go back to the background. So now we are going to work on the background, then import this image. Take it up. Then change the blending mode to multiply. You can scale it out a little. Then import this one. Alright, go to your blending mode, 
then you change it i'm going to make use of soft light then you scale it all right now i'm going to bring this worship image then leave it like this already it is it has already been blend so there is no need to blend it or apply any setting again now bring this brush then hold your shift key while you drag it down so you can see now the date and the location is now pop pop out now so you can see it very clear so then you also import this one you drag it up then go to your filter gaussian blur then leave this setting 16.6 then I go to your blending mode and change it to screen Then change the blending mode to screen. Then now apply your layer mask, select your brush, or you press B on your keyboard, letter B for brush. So let's make some adjustments before the final touching So now I'm going to apply a drop shadow and the inner glow to this test here. So this code here you are seeing, so go back to your test document and over here is the code to that color. Then select your drop shadow. Then this one I'm going to change the distance to 5, the spread to 2 and the scale, the size I mean to 9. Then apply the same thing to this setting and uh, reduce the opacity to 80%. Then click OK. Then hold your Alt key while you drag it to copy the layer style. Now increase the size. Okay. 
so the last thing now so we are going to to group everything so after grouping everything so then we have to merge all this layer together then hold your shift key plus ctrl plus alt key then you press e then to merge all the layers together now go to your camera raw so this is where the magic is going to happen now so you can see all this setting here then you have to play around with it then and apply the kind settings you want so just stay tuned and watch what i'm going to do over here so you can see the changes that is coming up Then scroll it down and over here I'm going to apply clarity not that much it's okay five percent is okay then also the haze so I think this number is okay so you can see the outcome of the settings we apply here then you click ok so now that is it so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video